Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Kreva and welcome back to Victoria 2 in which we are engaged in um, a great war together with France and Austria-Hungary versus um, yeah, uh, Russia and Germany and Romania and Denmark. We're also having the Netherlands and Belgium and Switzerland in here as well. So, um, yeah. I think, did we mobilize? We already mobilized, so people are, of course, going to come together. I will put up some uh, rally points, one in Treviso, one in Turin. That sounds reasonable. All units produced will move this direction. We have units moving down towards uh, Madama, so we can get started here on this uh, German territory, and oh boy. The French are a little bit problematic with rebels down here right now. Hopefully they can sort that out pretty quickly. Oh boy, this is going to be um, annoying. Huh, uh, lots of units. Um, first things first, let's uh, move our armies further north. I want them to go to Treviso. No wait, Treviso is where we have our... Uh, group up so we're going to Udine, you're going to Trent, you're going to Milan for now and let's make sure we unpause it then so units can start moving um, naval wise I don't think there's a very lot going on but we can at least have our strong navy move out and let's see okay here are the Germans already Wow, Belgium. Whoa, Belgium actually has a big army. Uh, boxer atrocities. Once again, what do we have? Um, sure thing, you can now have military access. We are kind of in a war. War between the Russian Empire and Switzerland. Oh, oh, Switzerland is the war leader, I guess, maybe. Are they now? Um, I'm not sure. We are at the highest, though, but... Hmm... Huh. Cut down to size, great war capitulation, acquire western Zeebrungen, that would be this uh, area for Romania. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's first, of course, task to get through these German armies, I suppose. So let's send an army into Augsburg. You're going to Munich. And we cannot have uh, too many f people, actually. Okay, you're going to Ulm. I think you can easily get there. It will be a bit costly, this war, of course, with uh, our units taking on attrition and everything. Okay, the Germans are already working on their sieging quite effectively and swiftly. Hmm. The first siege has been... What is this? Um, Persia has rebels. I don't think I can actually call in my allies can I now we don't even wait what they don't want an alliance because ah, of course um, we are not a leader so we cannot call in our own allies um, we can form an alliance with Oman which is our ally we are allied with Spain um, Yemen wants an alliance sure I'll take it but the other is going to be a bigger problem we don't need that much war score, but it's going to be a lot nonetheless to get to that point, I suppose. Uh, they have ex both accepted our lines. Sure, Switzerland can have access, even though we are already in a war. It shouldn't be a deal. Ah, we have more people coming into Rome. We're working on um, a lot of uh, mobilization right now. Just need to be um, probably sieging a lot of Germany first. There's a Danish army over here. Big f German army there. But the Germans are mostly busy in Austria right now. Which gives us the time to actually go into... Wow, oil pumping machinery. By using new discoveries in hydraulics and pumping techniques, new machinery was developed that would pump the black gold up to the surface. Does it give me more chance at getting um, oil now? Yeah, 4% chance now on unlocking oil. Okay, armies are working. Actually, I would like to turn off Rome as a uh, 
rally point right now. The rest of you also, you know what? I'm just gonna put them all in trend for now. And here we have the Germans crashing in. Let's help them out. Let's send in more troops to Munich then. We can, uh, oh, Austria-Hungary now sphering. Um, I can actually add them to our sphere of influence. I don't mind that at all, to be honest. And that suddenly dropped our income dramatically. Um, by Jingo. Oh, right. I completely forgot. Declare war. We cannot have a war, though. Uh, we should let them sleep. I mean, we cannot actually get into a war with them, being allied in a war already. I guess we need more troops now to come and help out there. Uh, you're all going to Augsburg then. That was indeed a little bit silly once again, but at least we're getting there when it comes to relations. We're hostile now, of course we are. Wow, lots of troops on both sides are dying. This could be very good for us. Um, though if we can at least win this battle. Battle of the Channel, we just sunk 12 German ships. Oh look, more ships from Germany, which we should easily be able to kill, actually. I mean, what do they have? They have ironclads and we have battleships. So there's a, a big difference going out over here. Who's getting the advantage? Well, we should be. Um, Germany is being sieged up incredibly strong now. French armies, uh, Germans here. Wow, um, occupation of Ulm is over. Okay, so let's get to Nuremberg. Well, they're losing that fight at the least. Um, okay, how are our armies doing down here? Still haven't arrived, but soon they shall be. Hmm. Losing a lot of money. Basically, be, I th yeah, adding Austria to our sphere is bad. Well, then again, they already are out of our sphere also, so I don't know. Hmm. Our economy should have instantly recovered. Yeah, I should have remembered that uh, we were at negative relations with the Austrians before actually ex and extending that sphere. But uh, we're still getting lots of points now, so... Um, base 4... 0.42 every day. Well, well, well. Okay, old railroad in Africa. I mean, seriously, old railroad. Oh, it takes a long time to build, obviously, but. Infantry under construction. Austria, Hungary. Ethiopia, Germany. Greece. Switzerland is trying its hand with Greece. Russia with um, Persia. So I'm going to. Um, no, 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 no. Um, decrease the opinion of Russia here to cordial. I mean, we have enough to also um, get the counter the. Uh, what were they again? The, the English there, yeah. Okay, French are taking all the Germans here. We seem to be doing fine with this one at least. It's taking a long time, though. Uh, Battle of the Channel. We sunk eight ships. We lost zero. Well, the question of where are the German ships now going? I don't actually know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, we are definitely winning this fight. Belgium wants access. I'll give Belgium access. Uh, Yemen 100, Ottoman Empire. Ah, yes, the Ottomans is... Oh, but we are, of course, um, having a truce with them. So we cannot do anything about them right now. Hmm. Austria-Hungary. Well, they're going up in uh, points at least. There we go. They... Wow. Lots of losses on both sides, actually. Um, this army, I'm going to pull you back to recover. I'm going to send in these guys, though, 
to help with the defense. Especially because we now have a bigger German army entering over here. Uh, civil violence. Those militancy. Oh boy, um, intervene immediately, as always. Um, we should jump into that fight. You guys are just going to stick around here. Which one is a regular army? Uh, none of them, actually. Wow. This one should be. Yeah, this is the regular army we have. So we're going to help out the... Okay, um, that did work out pretty damn nice, actually. Now we need to jump in here with these guys. These guys are also moving in at one point. Uh, communist up, liberal up a lot, by the way. Wow, Martin Steele. Um, we're losing way lots of money. Mostly because, of course, we are also reinforcing. That is expensive, yeah. Reinforcing everyone is expensive. So we can hold... Well, at least we can do this for one and a half more years at this rate, but... Good. German army there. How are we doing with the war? 5% in our advantage. Defender occupation. Blockades. Yes, we are definitely blockading a lot here. Um, the Dutch are being sieged. Okay, where's my... Hang on. Are the French not doing their job there? Oh, well, at least um, Mannheim? Yeah, Mannheim is being sieged now completely. Okay, let's unpause again because, Jesus... Uh, iron breach loaded artillery artillery attack up artillery support up and also cost for artillery up can do that again but even more supply consumption uh, organization up mobilization size up as well risk management navy we're 93 so we still have some time to go economic responsibility i believe we needed that for something and it gives us more diplomatic influence, at least. Time-saving measures, output efficiency, goes up a lot, actually. So yeah, let's start that. It's a cheap research. Losing more people, but oh, look, now we are just stacking them there. Pops lose militancy. You are going to jump in here to help out. France, you can... Lanshut, we have got that victory. Um, so except for you guys, everyone, wow, we don't have access to Austria. Huh. That's a bit odd. There we go, good news, has decided to allow our troops access. So you guys are going into Austria to help out. Um, clergyman... Ooh, wow, control the clergymen through legislative measures, please. I'm not going to kill them. They are, wow, doing a good job at uh, reinforcing themselves. So we're down to 15, now they're back up to 37,000 troops. It's a great war indeed. We are just sieging up uh, Bavaria here, Bayern. Well, Germany seems to be taking a lot of sieging right now. Salzburg, yes, let's go there. Uh, you guys... Wait, there's another army here. At, at least it looks like it. Um, lazy natives, don't want to lose more prestige. Okay, that looks like a bad... Wow. That was a really bad roll on our side. Uh, Battle of Wurzberg has been won... Yeah, just infantry is actually not that great in fighting. Um, their beliefs must be respected. Salzburg, you're going to Ingolstadt. Oh, that was an Austrian army down there. Um, that's the regular army we have, right? Yeah. You're going back to Udine to uh, recover. You are going to go in again. 
That looks like a lost battle at this rate. So just the infantry needs to be used to just, um, yeah, reinforce rather than anything else. This is, uh, well, at least we're getting some occupations again here. Uh, occupation of Würzburg. 20 days only. That was quick. Oh, we are hunting rebels. That's the problem. Uh, oh, wow. That's also bad. Gonna send in more troops really soon, though. Here we go. Out of Munich. Into the fray. And these guys are just basically losing it. That's why I'm sending these, of course. Uh, 44,000. Let's get to... Actually, let's find that army there. Oh, the Russians are also in Austria now. So while we are sieging up the Germans quite effectively, and there's a big front over here, I think I'm actually going to hold off then and put them in places where it's a bit safer to stick around. That's at least a regular army, so I'm going to send them in here. And that actually makes them run away. So I'm going to send you away. Um, Augsburg, that's good. That would be this one over here. Beirut. Going to run through some German troops, so they actually get defeated there. Okay, oh boy. This is... um. Tough fights going on over here. So, how does that look? Minus 19? Oh boy, someone else is losing big battles. That's bad. That's really, really bad. And of course, we've added Hanover. Noch Whoa, the Dutch have added two war three war goals? Are they serious? What the hell? Dutch, you crazy. Um, we can increase our opinion of Austria-Hungary. So let's do that to 37 now. Okay. Um, the Germans send in a lot of troops here. The Battle of Linz at least has been won. Let's send them all in there then. What are these then? Shouldn't I, wasn't I able to see that before? What kind of forces they had in there. Um, you stop with your rebel hunting. It's just annoying. Um, 63. Let's send in some help. Drying techniques. Tea, coffee and opium production goes up tremendously. Mm -hmm. Helgoland Blight. We sunk another three ships. Really good. Uh, wow, Russians are also now here. Of course they are. Oh, whoa. Troops are stuck on Corsica and Sardinia. Battle of Munich has been won. Where are you running, Augsburg? Let's follow them then. Should be able to have some fun there. Okay, the Germans are definitely losing that battle. Um, there are a lot of enemy forces around here. Okay, I need someone to siege up Nuremberg again. Okay, that looks bad though. Jump in here, please. Yeah, they probably also mobilized, so... And that reminds me, we need to just start here in... Uh, Africa as well with sieging. While the French are still dealing with um, occupations. F minus four. Where are they losing that those big battles? I mean, I haven't really lost a battle yet, so... It's not me. Battle of Augsburg. Good, where are they running now? To Nuremberg, so I'll follow. Get that siege going. There we go, That those are points that we want. Landshut. Um, everyone to Landshut to defeat them again. 
so yeah, that that was a strong battle for, in our advantage. Thirteen and a half back swing, Ingolstadt. You definitely need to move in there now. And so, okay, that's at least going in our advantage in our favor. Half of Germany has been sieged now as well. Just saying, but half of Austria-Hungary has also been sieged. Battle of the Landsat, they're running to Munich. So we are also running to Munich after them. Just need to clear out those armies, just kill them off completely if possible. Yeah, this looks like a one-sided battle. We're not even losing any troops in that one. One permanent prestige for Edward Bernstein, just pause if you want to read it. And there we go. Going to take it a little bit slower and again. Point three, so 300 men are now defending over here. They should die soon though, I suppose. Whoa, Austria has got some good defensive roles there. And you're just going to become one army, Battle of Munich. They are lost all their units. So let's move out a bit. I'm going to crash that party. Hang on. Is the UK the UK joined in on our side? What is this? I don't even really the UK? Wow. UK decided to join us as well in this fight. That's actually quite impressively awesome. So they've also sent in their troops. So we are definitely swinging the battles in our favor. Where are you running? Can I not see? I should be able to see where they're running. I think they're running into uh, Pilsen. Pilsen, yes, Pilsen. Wow, Pilsen, really? 91 brigades, I would have possible 70. Oh, look at that. Now that's a fight I like. You're going to siege up. Yeah, I'm going to use these guys to siege a bit more. Look, this is Switzerland sieging. This is France sieging. This is actually Belgium sieging as well. Huh. They're running rampant over here in the east, but... There's actually... Wait, what? Oh, the UK is actually sieging up Romania now. Ah, oh, this is looking well. This is looking really good, this fight. Yeah, we are losing so much less people than they are. Railroad, railroad, railroad. Because that's also happening. Um, Austria, Hungary. Let's increase our influence again. We will get them in our sphere in due time. Um, increase opinion. Now we're back to neutral. Everyone is neutral again. Germany can't do shit about them anymore, though, because, of course, they are at war with each other. They're trying to resiege us. We have 15,000 more here. Let's help out with a little bit of rebels there. We've um, lost half of our bank that we had saved up so far to this war. Battle of Pilsen, only 3.9? Oh, that's sad. Um, we're all going to Prague, so... Okay, you shouldn't have run along. Everyone to Prague. I'm going to crash them there one day after they arrive. Klagenfurt, free. Ah, we have finished time saving measures. Historical theory, input efficiency, admin efficiency, tax efficiency, all good stuff. I think we finally need to get nationalism and imperialism, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's help out the Austrians over there if we can. Should be able to. At least. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, the Germans are losing again and severely. I'm following them up. Uh, yeah, wow. I think we are doing fine. 4.1 battle score. We're not turning it around, though. Seriously, what the hell? No, wait. Oh, what? I'm stupid. Um. Oh. I'm really stupid. I'm sorry. 
we're actually winning because we're we should move all the way to the left though to get anything here the dutch are trying to get a lot of peace deals though that's a bit silly um we could ask for something at least we could ask for the sahara at war goal uh choir states uh, west sahara that's actually a state it's not even a colony anymore place in the sun that should be the sahara 3.3 infamy just because we're in a great war um eight war score to demand in a peace deal Acquire colony Sahara from Germany. Sure thing. I'll at least try it. It's cheap, so. And this does it really say that? Yeah. Oh, socialists. It's not, um, no. It's not as bad as it looks, and it's just socialists. But we're trying to get uh, the Sahara, which is actually a pretty big zone. It's this entire area. This is the West Sahara, which is a state now as well. But this area shall be mine. Yeah, the Russians are definitely advancing here, so they might soon turn on us. But we are definitely winning this war so far. So that's good. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode right here. We're in the middle of a great war, and Germany is collapsing. But Austria-Hungary is also collapsing due to the Russians. And that means the Russians are getting closer to our borders now. I want to thank you all for watching, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, so you can keep up to date with all of the stuff that I'm doing, and I'll see you guys later.